UFC lightweight division tier list. I'm going to rank every player on the lightweight division as of September 2020. Let's get this rolling. Al Quinta, I think he is in the core of the division. Um, he had a title shot, but it was not warranted, so it's core. Donald Cerrone is uh, core of the division. He has been for a long time. He's got some fight of the night uh, performance bonuses. He's got most fight wins, most performances, I think. And yeah, he he is the core of the division. Title shot, Conor McGregor. He is in the title shot division because he is a great lightweight fighter. But I hasn't really beaten the champion yet. And yeah. No, wait, what, what the hell am I saying? He beat Eddie Alvarez, but I don't consider him as a good fighter. So that doesn't do it. Shut up. Okay, I'll, okay um, I forgot this guy's name. I'd say he's coasting along. I don't know who this guy is. Dustin Poirier is a championship level fighter. He is going to fight. Um, he's waiting for a champion uh, title shot. Uh, number one contenders fight. And I don't know who he's going to fight, but yeah. I don't know who this guy is, and I don't know who these guys are. Dan Hulker, I think he is in the core, but he's a top-tier core. He is almost at a title shot, but I'd say he's in the core of the division right now. I don't know who this guy is, so I'll put that guy there. Uh, Justin Gagey, uh, I don't know. He's one of the greatest to do it, but is he better than Poirier? Poirier did beat Gagey, I think, but... Nah, let's put him. Gagey is just a little bit better than Poirier. Let's do that. Kevin Lee deserves a title shot, but I don't know. He's a mixed bag. He is not really, you know, a champion. He is a title contender, though. Khabib Nurmagomedov, the GOAT, the absolute best lightweight of all time. One of the best MMA fighters of all time. Of course, he deserves to be up there. Uh, Oliveira, I forgot if it's Charles or Well or whatever. He is just coasting along, along with, um, I forgot his name, god damn it. Paul Felder is in the core of the division. Al, um, hmm. I think Al could beat Cerrone now, but I think Cerrone was one of the top men of all time. But right now, Cerrone should have been a champion, but he, in high contender fights, he just never could cut it. He was in the title shop division, but he went down after his last fight with um, Nico Price, where he drawed, but... He is about ready to leave the division, I'd say. Paul Field, actually, Paul Fielder could beat Donald Cerrone right now. Anyway, Donald Cerrone could have hung with any one of these guys, but as of right now, he is old. He is almost close to retirement, so he's bottom of the list. <gasps> Tony El Kukui Ferguson. I placed this guy right below Nurmagomedov. Even though Justin Gagey beat Ferguson, that was just a one-off fight. Ferguson has had an unbeaten record for a long time. He was undefeated for the past six years or seven years or something like that. And yeah, it's just... He had an incredibly off night. That The, the Ferguson we saw against Gagey was not the Ferguson we know. He is a killer of the division. And... He had an off night, and Gagey looked fantastic, so he was able to beat Ferguson, but Ferguson is still number two. And this fight versus Khabib has fallen like four times, broken down, and they were never able to get in the ring. But it's still on the wish list for myself, because I think Ferguson and Khabib should fight as a capper to their careers, because Khabib has two more fights left in him. And one of them is going to be against Gagey. So, it's only fitting that Khabib should fight Ferguson next. But I think Ferguson has to go through Poirier first. Because Khabib said whoever beats Poirier gets a title shot. So, I think Ferguson should fight Poirier. Even though those talks have broken down. And yeah. Now, that's good there. As for Conor McGregor, he is a great fighter. He is a title contender fighter. He has won a championship, but Eddie Alvarez was was one of the worst lightweight champions of all time. He he, he just couldn't handle his speed and ferociousness, and yeah, he got knocked out. So yes, he doesn't belong. 
Conor McGregor doesn't belong in the champions division with the likes of Poirier, Gagey, Ferguson, and Nurmagomedov. Yeah, that's all I got for him. And Kevin Lee is right below him. He's a title contender. He has had a very sketchy career, but I believe he has the skills. He just, he's dumb with his decision. Poor, poor fight IQ. Dan Hoker is an up-and-comer. He's going to be a title shot in the title shot division next, but it'll give him a few more fights and then he'll get there. Al Ali Quinta, he's always been down below, but he's always been, you know, keeping in the top five, just a gatekeeper, I believe. Paul Fielder is a great fighter. He could fight for the championship, but he just, mm, I don't know. He's a great striker. i just never seen his ground game yet, so there's that's that. Cerrone is the GOAT, uh, one of the greatest to ever do the freaking MMA UFC ever. Because of all the fight performance bonuses, he goes out there and gives them hell. He goes out there and performs. He knocks people out. And he is 38 years old, though. So he is, so he is on his way out, about to retire. And, yeah, I'm one of my favorite fighters of all time, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. You are a legend. And I want to see him one more fight before he retires. And then the rest of these people. I forgot Oliveira and I forgot this guy's name. And I don't, I forgot these four people's names, but yeah. There we have it, UFC lightweight division. Comment below on what kind of mistakes you think I made, and yeah, this is it. This is the, my ranking of the top lightweights in the UFC today. <clears throat> but, but we are missing Michael Chandler, who was just signed by Dana White in the UFC just a few weeks ago. And if I had Michael Chandler on this list... He would be put right behind Gagey. So where Poirier is now, that's where I put him. Right between Gagey and Poirier for Michael Chandler. Because he is a long time awesome Bellator champion. And he is in the UFC. I can't wait to see his next fight. But I think it, he should fight either uh, Dan Hooker or Dustin Poirier. I would love to see Dustin Poirier fight. Michael Chandler, and then Michael Chandler fight Ferguson, and then the winner of that fights the winner of Khabib and Gagey. There, that's my list. No, wait. No, 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 no. Actually, I think I got it wrong. <clears throat> no, actually, I don't... Mm. Michael Chandler, where the hell do you go? I think Ferguson should fight Poirier, and then Michael Chandler fights... The loser of Khabib and Gagey. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the play to make. Even though he might get a title shot, which is just insane. Which he shouldn't get because he... Whatever. Alright, anyway. Peace out. Love you guys. And I'll see you later. Lightweight division. Yeah, yeah.